There. I know where they are if I want to get them again. And I gotta take a trip back to... Oh, wait, hold on. We gotta put all my weapons in the slots. I wonder if I should... No, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to replace that. I was going to, but... There we go. Alright, now no one messes with this. So, what have you heard? I wish you could throw him out. Where do I need to go? Hold on, let me look. Uh, oh, wrong way, sorry. Be careful of that hot smoldering shit. I'm telling you, man, this is very unsafe working conditions. Please. Treat his injuries. You okay, buddy? Thanks for patching up that asshole. He's got at least another week before he drops dead from exhaustion. <laughs> You're a bitch. Are you okay? I helped you. I'm wondering. I don't know. If I put him out of his misery, if it would actually be the benevolent thing to do. Possibly. I'm just here to see the big guy. And even so, man, even if I wasn't, would you fuck with this? Hey, if it isn't the newest addition to our little family. You hit the jackpot now, Wiz Kid. You're in Ash's army. Now's when the hard work really starts. You really think you work harder than the slaves downtown? Fuck yes, we do. Those lazy workers get food and board, and all they have to do is work the mail and complain. But we're the ones who go out on raids to get that food. And we're the ones getting shot at for their lazy asses. Fuck you. So don't you get all weepy for those scabs downtown. They don't know how easy they got it. But I do what I can to keep us all standing upright. If you need to drop some rats, I'm here to help. I could use some help. Then say no more, friend. Can't share much. But they should do the trick. Use it in good health. Just take whatever you can from these douchebags. These are the real scabs right here. These fucking guys. You don't mind a taking that? Want me to go right now? Get out of my 
Where does it want me to go? Hold on one second. Oh, this way. Okay. There it is. That's where Buddy is in that tall building right there. I'm worth more than all of you combined. Oh, Richie, ain't you? Well, if it isn't Ash's newest pet, he doesn't let many mongrels into his mansion. A you mini nuke bra, that's awesome. Something special in you, so Lulu's going to keep her eyes on you too. I'll tell you what's special about me. I kick ass. Ha! That rules out your wit. It must be something else that makes you so interesting to our lord. Lulu will see soon enough. Oh yes. But first, perhaps Asher's pet needs to be fed. Don't call me a pet, you freak. Oh, but aren't we all pets of our lord? He built this menagerie and chose each of us to live in his world. Fuck you. Good pets do work, find food, build weapons, and kill the unclean. Good pets get food and Lord Asher loves them. Bad pets get drowned in the rivers. Lulu knows all about being good, so Lulu is in charge of feeding other good pets. No thanks. Then go and... Fuck you, Lulu. Hey, if it ain't the champion of the hole! It was a hell of a show you put on down there. Good thing, too. Otherwise, I was gonna start shooting down there myself just to keep things interesting. Good thing you didn't. I would've shot back. I should hope so. That's what I did when I was fighting down there. And it really gets the crowd going when they see you've got some fight in you. Why? So knowing knowing what happens to you and knowing the suffering you put up with, why are you working for this prick? Is that how it works? You never leave the pit? Fucking effigy right here. I'll have to burn that shit later. Here comes Speedy. And as soon as you open the doors, oh! I'm gonna kill him. I think I will. Fuck this guy. I'll fucking kill everybody. What's up? You want something? Yeah. I want you to go eat a sausage roll. This shit is disgusting. I when I come back here. I want you to clean this shit up and brush your teeth. Shit. Lord Asher will be right with you. Feel free to wait inside. And I'm telling you, I've got it covered. I'll be with you right after I maintain some order and dispense justice. And I suppose you'll follow that up by raising the dead. No, but I may heal the infirm later in the week. Time permitting, of course. Sir, we've had sightings of Werner back in the city. And there's been an increase in chatter between slaves. Workers. What? We call them workers. Helps with morale. Reminds them that they might earn their freedom. Put your guards on alert. Tell them to be on the lookout for anyone loitering too long downtown. And keep a watch on Medea at all times. Anything big happens, it's bound to go through her. Now, I've got a very important meeting with our new friend. So if anything big comes up, you use the intercom. Yes, sir. Okay, break's over. Now get the fucking step in, Crenshaw. Nice work in the hole, new blood. Knew you couldn't be one of our normal workers. He's got power so armor. That begs the question, who are you? And what are you doing in my city? Hmm. I'm the, I don't know if I should say that. Looking for work? I understand. We've all got a past. And damn few of us have reason to be proud of it. That's all behind you now. In the pit, you'll be part of a growing army. A thriving industry. 
and maybe even witness to a cure for radiation. But we aren't perfect, and sometimes the past comes back to haunt us. Tell me, do you know a man named Werner? I met the man, but he seemed like trouble, so I steered clear. Then you know he's not to be trusted. He escaped after a failed coup, and I believe he's working with the slaves to plan a revolt. You know the slaves, and you've met Werner, so you're in a prime position to put an end to him. Do that, and I'll make you a lieutenant in my army. Thanks, but I've got other plans. Ah, of course. Would these plans happen to involve stealing a precious little something from me? Don't look so surprised. Your arrival was too convenient. And even if you never met Werner, I'm sure he got someone to make you an offer. It's okay. I get a lot of people trying to betray me. Part of the position, really. You can be honest with me. He said your discovery will free the slaves and cure them. How could I say no? Easy enough. You could say no because he lied to you. My discovery is a miracle, but it isn't the type that sets slaves free. Now it would do a lot more good if you were to. Lord Asher, don't let me keep you. And someone's on don't them. let me keep you. We need you. you out here and fast. Don't. Damn it! I'm on my way. I suggest you forget Werner's offer. Consider mine. Stop, Werner. You'll have a bright future. It. Don't. Disappoint me, blood. I should just kill him. I'm good, though. I'm gonna go take his fucking cure. Nice bed you got here, bruh. Oh shit, that was a bad call, huh? I'm gonna save. One second, let me look at the local map. It's in the other one. Snap. Sorry, don't care. He's an asshole. Let's listen. He's got a daughter. There are a lot of risks, including what your mother would do if she heard me talking like this. And I'm not about to risk leaving you alone without knowing where you came from. These tapes are for you, so you can know who your father really was. Marie, the first thing you need to know is that I wasn't always Hello. lord of the pit. Long before I was a king. It's for his it was a scholar. His daughter. A soldier. In fact, I was in the Brotherhood of Steel. That's where he got the power armor from. You probably heard about them. But you may not have heard what we did to the city. The scourge. When we came here, the pit was just a breeding ground for trogs, cannibals, and worse. Torch the place and take what we could. The pit had useful technology. 
technology, but it was suicide to stay here. So when an explosion left me buried in the mill, my brothers were sure I was dead. I don't blame them for leaving. I probably would have. We thought nothing could live in the pit. We were wrong. This is curious. Three. You know those fights in the mills arena? Well, its first fight was when I woke up to someone pulling me out from a pile of rubble. At first, I thought it was my brothers pulling me to safety. Instead, it was a scavenger trying to steal my armor. She didn't get it. But I learned she had a whole family of scavengers. They'd make raids into the city for gear from the mill. And that gave idea. This was the only working steel mill we'd ever seen. In a world of leftovers, it was a chance to build again. And that was worth any price. The scavengers saw me as a god. So along with my brotherhood know-how, it was easy to set up the basics. We started to build a city. As word of a new settlement got out, the city started growing and fast. Raiders attacked. I'd kill the leader and recruit the rest. I had to. The city's disease meant we couldn't have children. So recruiting was the only way to grow. And as we grew, the mill needed more workers. And yes, that meant recruiting workers by force. I'm not proud of it. But it's the only way to keep the city supplied and armed. But it was always a temporary solution. Until our best scientists found a way to cure the city's epidemic. Sandra and I worked on it day and night. And after one particularly late night of work, we were blessed with a cure. It's the cure inside you, Marie. Even now, we're doing everything we can to figure out how to share your gift with the city. While keeping you safe, of course. So by the time you're old enough to hear this, you'll already be a hero. Congratulations, Marie. You've already saved us all. I knew you would. She's the cure. How can you kill a baby? That's, I remember there was a twist. <laughs> this could be a problem. Uh, so I have to steal a baby. I'm going to talk to him. Oh, I wasn't expecting Asher to let you into the lab. I'm Sandra, and if I know my husband, he's already made you an offer to join She's quite us, attractive, right? actually. So you're here to see our little miracle, aren't you? This is my daughter, Marie. She can be a handful, but my little angel is going to save the city. I've got a bad feeling this isn't just bring your daughter to work day. Don't be silly. It's the best of both worlds. As a mother, I love that I can spend all day with my daughter. And as a scientist, it's great to work on something that will benefit the city. Wait, you mean she has a natural and transferable immunity of some sort? Well, this is a nice surprise. Apparently, you and Asher are the only other people who know anything about science in this place. Yes, it seems that our daughter was born with a naturally acquired immunity to any form of mutation. It's nothing short of a miracle, honestly. I'm still trying to figure out why, but she may just hold the key to stopping the pit's trog problem. Hell, maybe other types of mutations too. Aren't you worried about hurting? You're using, wait, aren't, okay, we'll just say yeah. Oh no, these tests are perfectly safe. In fact, between the crib and her uncanny health, she's probably the safest child in the world. Asher and I would never risk her health. And if that means it takes longer to develop a full cure, then, well, Everyone else can wait. If there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Oh dear, but things are well in hand here. If you really want to help, you should probably go deal with whatever had Asher rushing off in such a hurry. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to take care of one last test before Marie's nap time. What should I do? Should I leave? Should I take the child? Uh, uh. 
Hmm. Having a good time. It really makes you think, though. Let Let's think about this for a second. Werner um, wanted to sacrifice a few few people, a baby included, uh, to get a cure. Okay. How are you? T to free everybody. Um. While Asher wanted to create a cure, but in doing so, ruin hundreds of lives. It's a baby, I know, there's innocence, but... Aw, oh, poor thing. She got involved in this, and now I'm left with a morally, you know, a moral, you know... A moral decision, okay? Do I take the baby? Althea, well... Trying to cure the trog problem. But why do they have to be such fucking assholes? Why not pay them or something? Werner's a dick, though. How are you? They, like I said, they were both doing in the wrong. Werner's looking after the greater good, though. So maybe I should take the baby and then kill Werner. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm taking the baby. You think you can get away with this? Yep. Every raider in this town will be after your head to bring her back. Come to your senses, ha Nope, I just thought you wanted to say goodbye. You Fuck you, bitch. Where the hell is the good pistol? One second. Oh, don't need it. Fuck you, bitch. Where's the baby? She's in my inventory. <laughs> What's up? What's up? I could program it to kill all them. Wow, this is pretty crazy. Die, bitch. Yes, bitch, yes. This is pretty nutty, bruh. Let's see what we can find in this. It's for the greater good, man. It really is. I'm gonna have fun killing these raiders. One child is not enough to fucking enslave hundreds of people. I understand that, but I think this is the better choice. You probably won't get negative karma for either. What? You tried to kill me! I'm not a scab, bitch. You're dead, though. You'll be being picked clean, bitch.